welcome students on uh, today's lecture on counterfort retaining wall now uh, in the previous design we have completed cantilever retaining wall then what is this counterfort retaining wall it is same like a cantilever retaining wall but there will be a counterfort now what are this counterfort let us see in the diagram here you can see in the previous uh, design we have drawn with the cantilever retaining wall so it had heel slab toe slab shear key and a stem now this portion whatever you are able to see this portion is of concrete and that is called as counterfort and that is used so that as the length of the cantilever retaining wall will be more so to provide uh, at some spacing we provide a concrete member here as uh, to counteract so these are called as counterfort retaining wall so let us start with the design so let us see so the numerical considered is design a counter fort retaining wall based on the following data height of the wall above ground level is 6 meter that means height of the wall above ground level is 6 meter if you see in the diagram so this is a ground level so height of the wall is above this ground level is 6 meter then sbc of soil 160 kN per meter square angle of internal friction phi 30 degrees density of soil 16 kN per meter cube spacing of counterfort so 3 meter center to center as i said you there will be a counterfort walls present so those are at a spacing of 3 meter center to center adapt m20 concrete and fe4 and phi steel draw the following views showing reinforcement details sectional elevation midway between the counterforts sectional elevation through the counterforts and sectional plan at the base of the counterfort now uh, the design remains the same as the cantilever retaining wall only the thing is there will be a addition of the counterforts and the design of counterforts so let us start so first is giving the dimension to the retaining wall so as we have discussed already in the previous design in the cantilever beam so the minimum depth of the foundation is given by p by w 1 minus sin phi upon 1 plus sin phi where p is 160 that is nothing but the sbc of soil 160 divided by w is nothing but the density so the density of the soil is 16 kN per meter cube so 160 divided by 16 Into one minus sine phi. Phi is an angle of internal friction, and it is given as 30 degrees. If the angle of internal friction is not given, we can assume anything between 30 to 45 degrees. So substituting, we got it as 1.11 meter, which is less than uh, rounding off to 1.2 meter. So, so we already know if you see in the diagram here. Above the ground level, the height of the wall is 6 meter, and the minimum depth of foundation we got it as 1.2 meter. so the total height from uh, the base of the uh, retaining wall will be h capital h is equal to 6 plus 1.2 that is 7.2 meter so that is what here we have shown overall height of the wall h is equal to 6 plus 1.2 which is 7.2 meter you can see here 6 plus 1.2 h equal to 7.2 meter shown here now next is thickness of base slab now this is given as 2 l into h in terms of centimeter where l is spacing of counterfort so whenever you have a counterfort design so it changes so it will become 2l into h in terms of centimeter so 2 into l length is a 3 meter center to center here you can see counterfort and h is nothing but 7.2 so 43.2 centimeter we got so in mm that is 432 mm rounding out to 450 mm So here you can see the thickness of the base slab is working out to be 0.45 meter. Now let us provide a 1.2 meter depth of foundation and the thickness of base slab as 450 mm. Base width. So base width will be in the range of 0.8 to 0.6 to 0.7 h. So 0.6 h is h is 0.6 into 7.2 4.32 meter. So take it rounding out to 4.5 meter. So width of the base slab taken in it as 4.5 uh, meter. Okay. Now, toe projection that is uh, one fourth of uh, 4.5 meter. That is one meter. 
so in total you can see here this is one meter this is 0.2 meter and this is 3.3 meter so this is how the, uh, the projection is decided now let us see the design of stem so the pressure intensity at the base is given by omega h per minus n phi on plus n phi let us see the diagram here so height of the stem will be from here to here from the base of the slab to total height is 6 plus 1.2 that is 7.2 meter as we know the base slab is of 0.45 so height of the stem is 6.75 meter here there is ground earth here there is earth and here there is a, a concrete member base slab concrete member stem and concrete member um, counter force as well as the pressure will be acting at a height of one third at k is equal to w h square by 2 so let us see the design so the maximum moment will be w h square by taking considering as a udl so w is here you can see the pressure intensity so k into w h square divided by 2 so this gives the pressure intensity which is another 16 into 6.75 into 1 minus sine 5 plus 1.75 so 36 kilonewton per meter square. So 36 into L is nothing but 3 square divided by 8, 40.5 kilonewton meter. So the effective depth required for the balance section is D is equal to uh, root of mu divided by 0.138 FCKB. So 40.5 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 0.138 into 20 into 1000, which is 121.13 mm. Now here 0.138 FCKB, 0.138 it is because due to the period of concrete so the grade of concrete here you can see is m20 so for m20 and if you find the the uh, formula will be 0.138 now assuming again 200 mm at a top constant thickness so reinforcement in stem so this is the formula me is equal to 0.87 fi std 1 minus fi std divided by bdk fck so substituting we get ast is equal to 700 mm square so providing 12 mm diameter at 150 mm center to center distribution bars of 0.12% of cross section so uh, this will be 0 0.0012 into 200 into 1000 which is 240 mm square per meter so adopt 6 mm diameter 200 mm center to center so let us see the next stability calculation in the next lecture so this is how the design of counter for retaining wall takes place and this is how the uh, stem is designed. Thank you.